Hey guys, so I hope you all are doing very well and um, this is just an update for the morning session. Actually, I couldn't add any update at the end of the video because there was there's work going on in the floor above me and there's a lot of noise basically. So uh, now I've come to another room and basically I can shoot this. So um, this is it. I just uh, went ahead and uh, I looked up I mean cardiomyopathy is something that I've done before I mean during my final year I did do uh, stuff from marrow okay but then I wasn't really thorough with it and um, like my notes are all haywire when it comes to cardiomyopathy and that will be for another day that will be another video for another day like how I made digital notes and things like that so here is what I concised basically so I think first aid is pretty good okay and uh, I'd say that um, it's I mean it's a hoax that uh, um, it's only for USMLE. I mean, uh, you can add up all the extra points. So I went ahead and added all the extra points into this itself. And these all extra points are from my marrow uh, notes. I mean, from the marrow notes PDF. And uh, this is all, like, all there is to it. So it's pretty much given in pretty, you know, briefly. I mean, uh, it's written briefly in, in just this much amount of page i mean this page and it's that's it and that's just it and i just went ahead and added my one of my own pages like just one page i added and i put in the extra points that were there in marrow like some of the extra points like this table is very high yield okay so i just put in that okay just took the extra point and put it and this i still haven't uh, read this like you know completely because uh, what is important now uh, what is important is like I've already finished I had finished uh, watching the video of cardiomyopathy in my final year but then the problem here arises that there are some knowledge gaps and some lacunae in my studying like uh, there was hypertrophic cardiomyopathy ka one part was that SAM that is something that I don't understand a lot and it's not given very in details here but you know this is like kind of like ncrt kind of a you know thing so i just put put that in here okay like the entire the marrow part of sam here that is uh, basically a septal hypertrophy okay septal hypertrophy in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and that is the only part of the video that i'm going to watch okay later on and um, yeah so i finished uh, the whole cardiomyopathy in that one uh, one one hour 20 minutes or something like that and then after that uh, I couldn't do um, you know pathology part I ran out of time and uh, basically not not ran out of time but then uh, I just got exhausted that's it so this is the update and this is something that I think I'm gonna do throughout because uh, this is something that it's been helping me a lot I mean this is really helpful. I mean, I've just done it for immunobullous disorders and I think I benefited a lot from it rather than reading all of that. Like, I can just at a glance look at everything that I've looked and looked, looked up and highlighted and, you know, written down. And yeah, I'm done with the chapter and I can just, you know, do it again and again. I can just do this again and again. And they have this really nice uh, mnemonic also. Please don't look at this okay basically i just had to put fabry's disease over there so that's why i use that very uh you know non-veg kind of a mnemonic okay like i made the mnemonic so that uh um, made you know added up to that because the mnemonic is very non-veg so yeah uh it's pretty high yield and um, it's pretty important also and uh, one more update is that apart from that one hour 20 minute session that i did in the morning okay it was from 10 pm but i usually get up at 6 so um i actually did uh, around a two hour session in the morning uh, with all the pre-pg questions and all that i revised and did some of my daily revisions and things like that so yeah count that in also and i'll see you guys after lunch